The USCG seagoing buoy tender is a type of United States Coast Guard cutter originally designed to service aids to navigation throughout the waters of the United States, and wherever American shipping interests require. The U.S. Coast Guard has maintained a fleet of seagoing buoy tenders dating back to its origins in the U.S. Lighthouse Service, a slow Hess. These ships originally were designated with the hull classification symbol WAGL, but in 1965 the designation was changed to WLB, which is still used today. Two classes of the WLB cutters have been produced. The older class, the 180 FT class cutters, were 180 feet, 55 m, long. 39 of these vessels were built from 1942-1944. All but one were constructed in the shipyards of Duluth, Minnesota. The 180 fleet, many of which served for more than 50 years, all went through different midlife modifications that essentially resulted in three different classes of ship. All of the 180s are now retired and have been replaced with the new 225-foot, 69M, Juniper-class cutters. The last 180-foot cutter, Usk Kakasha, was decommissioned on June 7, 2006. The Jonquil class of 189-foot, 58M, buoy tenders were U.S. Army-built mine planters acquired by the Coast Guard after World War II. Built around 1942, these vessels were designed for diesel engines but low-pressure steam plants were installed instead. The new Juniper buoy tenders are designed and operated as multi-mission platforms. While the 180s also performed other Coast Guard missions, they lacked the speed, communications, navigation, and maneuverability of the new Junipers. Today, the Junipers conduct almost as much law enforcement as aid to navigation work, they are also outfitted to handle oil spill recovery, search and rescue, homeland security, and some ice-breaking operations. Ex-U.S. Army Mine Planters Six U.S. Army mine planters built 1917-1919 were transferred to the U.S. Lighthouse Service during a reduction in Army in the early 1920s. These, after absorption into the U.S. Coast Guard, became that service's Speedwell class. Acacia, WAGL 200, XU Zamp General John P. Story, shelled and sunk March 15, 1942. ILEX, WAGL 222, XU Zamp BRIG General Edmund Kirby. Lotus, WAGL 229, XU Zamp Colonel Albert Todd. Lupin, WAGL 230, XU Zamp General Wallace F. Randolph. Speedwell, WAGL 245, XU Zamp Colonel John V. White. Spruce, WAGL 246, XU Zamp Colonel Garland N. Whistler. The ships were 172 feet, 52.4 m, in length, 32 feet, 9.8 m, beam with 11 feet 6 inches, 3.5 m, draft displacing 1,130 tons. Early mine planters, at first termed torpedo planters, had been modeled after us Hess vessels which had similar requirements for handling heavy loads alongside the vessels so that mine planters were easily converted to buoy work. Ex-U.S. Army Chimo Class 188 Mine Planters 1942-1943 Six U.S. Army built Chimo Class Mine Planters were transferred to the U.S. Navy. These vessels were further transferred to the U.S. Coast Guard and refitted as buoy tenders. All of these vessels were built 1942-1943 by Marietta Manufacturing Company, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Uzamp General Henry Knox MP1, USS Pickett, ACM8, then USC Quillo, WAGL slash WLB332. Uzamp Colonel Henry J. Hunt, MP2, USS Bastion, ACM6, then USC Jonquil, WAGL slash WLB330. Uzamp Colonel George Armistead, MP3, USS Barbican, ACM5, then USC Givy. WLB 329 WAGL 329. USAMP First Lieutenant William G. Sylvester, MP 5, USS Obstructor, ACM 7, then USC Heather, WABL WLB 331. 
Uzamp Colonel John Story, MP8, USS Barricade, ACM3, then Usk Magnolia, WAGL slash WLB328. Uzamp Major General Arthur P. Murray, MP9, USS Trapper, ACM9, then USS Yamacraw, ARC 5, Usk Yamacraw, WARC 333. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.